it is time to plant these little babies. Fall is the perfect time of year to plant garlic. It's allowing all that energy to go into the root system during those winter months, allowing the bulbs to form. Come spring, you're gonna start to see those stalks grow taller. And come summer, you'll see the leaves start to yellow a little bit and you'll know it's time to harvest your garlic. So why should you plant garlic? Number one, it's awesome plant medicine. It's the first herb I reach for when we are down with the flu. Number two, it's delicious. You cannot make a good sauce without garlic. And three, it's a fabulous companion planter for your other veggies. Last year I had so much fun that this year I am doubling up for sure. I was harvesting garlic, yep, June, July these babies. We go for the soft neck garlic here in zone nine because it doesn't need extreme cold stratification. If you're looking for a surefire bounty of harvest, go with the soft neck for zone nine. Now, hard neck garlic is a little more pungent and it gives you those beautiful garlic scapes to cook with. If you love the scapes, plant a few in your area and see how they do. I did it last year and look, I had great success with both soft neck and hard neck. Now planting my garlic, there are certain tools I love to use. This being one of them. This is my hula hoe. I love this, look at this. Go in, break that up. Sorry, arugula, getting a little close. Now, with that, I've got my soil nice and broken up. And now on to my drain shovel. The reason I love this drain shovel so much is it's narrow and it's the perfect distance for me to space two cloves of garlic four inches apart. One on one side and one on the other side. I carefully pull it out and then I cover it over with dirt. Now, because I am an urban gardener, we deal a lot in raised beds. So that is why this tool comes in such handy for me. Now I'm sure that uh, big scale farmers have a better way of doing it, but for me, for my raised beds, this works out perfectly. Don't you agree, Max? It's like turkey poop. <laughs> Time to go wash my mouth. <laughs> Gotta get these puppies in the ground. Look at you eyeing my garlic. Huh, there you are. Popping out to see what mama's putting in the planter, but oh yeah. Okay, garlic 101. Here is your bulb. And when you carefully break it up, that will expose your garlic cloves. So this is what you're planting in the ground that will grow into a bulb. Be sure to keep the individual skins on the cloves when you plant them. They protect the clove. This end is where your roots are at. This pointy end here is where your leaf will come up, okay? I plant them two inches deep and four inches apart per row. You can expect your bulbs to be between two and three inches wide, so that four inch space is great. I also space my rows eight inches apart. Cover it over. Now keep in mind, I'm going to put a layer of mulch over top of all this as well. Garlic is a great companion plant. Plant it alongside of other veggies and it will help to deter harmful insects from attacking them. And so on. I'm just gonna keep going down the line until I have nowhere else to put garlic. <laughs> and give it a little water. Yet I have not forgotten about my apartment dwelling friends. Did you know with a container this size, all you need is about eight inches, and this is well over that, of space. You can plant a couple cloves of garlic and you too can have garlic. The main thing is I'd make sure it gets adequate sun. Now, I'm going to do some container planting of garlic. So I'm using one this size. And I'm also using this bad boy because he has some great volume here that I can get probably, I think I'll do maybe six or seven bulbs in here. I love to be able to show people who think they don't have enough space to garden that you can. If you want to garden, you can absolutely do it. You can have fresh garlic in a pot this size. You might not have like a hundred bulbs of garlic growing in your backyard, 
but you can sure get, I would say, four in this bucket. Alrighty guys, so for the sake of argument and curiosity, to show you that even a container can grow garlic, <laughs> even a container can grow garlic, <laughs> I'm going to plant one in this bad boy. I always make sure the containers that you use, make sure that they're clean. Uh, if you have to rinse them out every year with a little bleach water and let them dry out to cut down on plant disease. So, okay, let's fill this guy and put our garlic in. Oh, here's our pot. Ooh, we're gonna do two. One, two. All right, so we have this. We have this one. And of course, I'm not going to be able to lift this one right now. We have that one. Now it's all about waiting for them to sprout and leaving them till about early summer. Let's go take a look and see how some of our guys are doing out back. Look at garlic, garlic, garlic. They're coming up. That's a little weed, but that is garlic. Guys, I am so excited. My orders came from Seeds Now of my specialty garlic. First one is the Red and Chillum from Washington. It is a Native American soft neck garlic. So stoked. And the other one, da 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 da, is a purple soft neck early Italian garlic. Yeah, baby, Italian garlic, Inchellum Native American garlic. Anyways, guys, I'll have a link in the description where you can order yours as well. But I am thrilled because garlic, 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 and we love garlic breath, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> And the cool thing too with Seeds Now is that they always throw in a free seed packet uh, that comes with your order, which is great. And this one is Coneflower Echinacea, y'all. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to share it with a friend if you know of someone who loves garlic and doesn't even realize how easy it is to create your own fresh homegrown garlic. All you need is to get it in the ground.